Hello, everybody. Join me on the second day of contemporary literature. This is a free weekend course. I'm going to start weekend courses now to help you with NDNet set and gate. Did you read extra on the contemporary writers that I told you about yesterday? Today, we are going to do double that number of writers. This is going to be a long session. We will talk about a lot of writers of the present time and their works. So I'm sharing my screen. I hope you will read extra because you'll definitely get a question on these writers in net set or gates. Contemporary literature two. That is the topic. Are you ready guys? You should also join our Wallets Test public group in Telegram because there we will be sharing practice quizzes based on contemporary literature. Right guys, we also have uh, gate practice quizzes starting in our Wallets Test public group. If you join, you will get a lot of benefits. Okay, shall I talk to you about the first contemporary author? It is Indira Ganeshan. Indira Ganeshan is an Indian American writer. She is the author of major works like The Journey, Inheritance, As Sweet as Honey. Maybe she will write even more in the coming years. Indira Ganeshan, Indian American writer, born in 1960. I hope you will look her up. Please read about her novels. One of her novels could be helpful for you in the exam. So just now we talked about Indira Ganeshan. The next author beginning with I, we are going in a chronological manner. Who is the next author? It is Isabel Allende. Isabel Allende is a Chilean American writer. She is originally Latin American and she now lives in America. She is regarded as a very important writer among the Spanish language writers. Maybe she is the most important Spanish language writer. Isabel Allende has written very major novels. Have you heard of the House of the Spirits? She uses magic realism in these works. The House of the Spirits is from 1982. Then there is City of the Bees. City of the Bees is from 2002. Another novel that came after that is Forest of the Pygmies. Forest of the pygmies, a long petal of the sea. Guys, I am reminding you, the House of the Spirits and City of the Bees are very important novels of Isabel Allende. After I comes J. Who is the author beginning with J that you know? Some of you will think of Junpa Lahiri, but here we have Jeet Thayil. Remember, Jeet Thayil is a poet as well as a novelist. There are two acclaimed works by him. These errors are correct. It's a poetry collection. Narcopolis, his first novel, is also very famous. Jeet Thayil is originally a Malayali. He's from Kerala and he's also a musician. Remember, his... Uh, Major works are The Book of Chocolate Saints, Law, Names of the Women, and also, I suppose you already know, these errors are correct. One, Sahitya Academy Award in English. That is Jeet Tail. Are you enjoying the session, guys? I'm trying to make it very clear, very easy. You should do your own reading and we will follow up 
with the Telegram poll in Bullet Test Public Group. Next, IJK. Have you heard of Kate Atkinson? Kate Atkinson is a British writer. She is the author of novels, plays, and short stories. Kate Atkinson created Jackson Brody series. Have you heard of that? It's very famous in the UK. Her major novels are Behind the Scenes at the Museum, Life After Life, A God in Ruins, Shrines of Gaiety. If you are a, an avid reader, you might already have come across her works. They are famous. And if you are not an avid reader, you can start to be one now. You can start reading Kate Atkinson behind the scenes at the museum. Kate Atkinson behind the scenes at the museum. Life after life, a god in ruins, shrines of gaiety, god and shrine. Okay. And it is related to life after life. All this is happening in a museum. Like there's some uh, code if you make, you will be able to remember it. K for Kazuo Ishiguro. I wish I was a writer. Then I will be also featured here, Kalyani Balad, but I am not a writer. Kazuo Ishiguro is Japanese, of course, Japanese British writer. He is the recipient of the Nobel Prize in Literature. I have mentioned only a few of his novels. There are even more novels that he has written and they are very famous. Remember the early novels, A Pale View of Hills. A Pale View of Hills by Kazuo Ishiguro is set in Japan. And he also wrote The Remains of the Day, which is a very famous novel. Uh, James Stevens is a butler. He was the servant of or the butler of a very major aristocrat during the Second World War. And now he is going on a trip to Cornwall to meet his former female colleague. And as he is reminiscing, as he is remembering the past, you understand how he tries to come to terms with his own identity as a butler. His father was also a butler and how he comes to terms with memories of his master. Uh, his master was actually a Nazi, but he served him faithfully. It's a very deep novel where the personal and the historical intertwine. The remains of the day, you might have watched the movie. Remember guys, in net, set and gate. Adaptations of novels into movies are very, very important. Remember guys, you might be required to know who are the major actors, the cast, who are the directors, etc. Please remember to look up the remains of the day. Never Let Me Go is another very major novel by Kazuo Ishiguro. It's about cloning. He has also written a later novel about uh, an AI-operated uh, robot. It is Clara and the Sun. Nocturnes is a collection of short stories, five stories of music and nightfall. It's a short story collection by Kazuo Ishiguro. Are you loving the session, guys? Please like the video. Even if you don't like the video, please like what we are doing here because this will help you. How are you all? Are you feeling bored? Tell me in the chat box. Are you enthusiastically uh, preparing for net once again? Are you preparing for gate? Whatever exams you're preparing for, I'm there. Team Tess is there. We will be there to help you. Don't worry, guys. Here is a writer who is very close to us because he is originally from Afghanistan, an Afghan American writer, Khaled Hosseini. Khaled Hosseini is a very important uh, novelist. We know him for the Kite Runner. Many of you may also have read A Thousand Splendid Sons. If Kite Runner is about two men, 
a thousand splendid sons is about two women. And the mountains echoed. It's another major novel by Khalid Hosseini. Now we have a Czechoslovakian writer, Milan Kundera. He is the recipient of many European awards. And Milan Kundera's major works include The Joke, The Book of Law. I think he is no more. I'm so sorry. This is a mistake. He wrote a very postmodern kind of uh, narratives. Uh, and The Joke, his early novel, is against uh, the communist regime. Ludwig Jahn is the protagonist. The Book of Laughter and Forgetting. The Unbearable Lightness of Being are other major works. The Unbearable Lightness of Being is prescribed in universities. Thomas and Teresa are the protagonists. He has also written a major novel called Immortality. Please look up Milan Kundera, guys. He could be important. Now we have another writer from M. It is Michael. Michael. No, 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 it is not Michael Ondache. It is Michael Kimball. Have you heard of Michael Kimball, guys? Michael Kimball is an American writer and he founded the Taint magazine. And his major works are Dear Everybody, Big Ray. I'm sure you will look him up because he is important. Mo Yan is a Chinese writer, short story writer and novelist and Nobel laureate. His important novels are set in China and uh, depict China conflict, Japan, China, Japan conflict, etc. I have read, read Sorghum. Have you seen the movie? There is also a movie. Mo Yan is the author of Red Sorghum. The Republic of Wine, White Dog and the Swing. It is a short story collection. Life and Death are Wearing Me Out. That is also by Mo Yan. Mo Yan, very major Chinese writer. Now we have Mira Jacob, born in 1973. She wrote uh, The Sleepwalker's Guide to dancing. Mira Jacob is an American writer. She has also written Good Talk. Now from M, there are no more writers we are discussing today. Guys, are you ready to go on to talk about N writers? Namita Gokhale. Namita Gokhale is the author of um, many novels. He's an, she's of course an Indian writer. You know her because she won the Sahit Academy Award for Things to Leave Behind. Namita Gokhale wrote Paro, Dreams of Passion, Things to Leave Behind, The Habit of Love, The Blind Matriarch. Namita Gokhale is also famous in another capacity. Do you know that, guys? She is the founder of the Jaipur Literature Festival. Namita Gokhale is one of the founders and uh, co-directors of Jaipur Literature Festival. Did I tell you this, guys? We are bringing out an easy handbook on contemporary literature very soon. We will expand these writers and their works, and you will be able to read it maybe within a month or two before the next exam. Now, after Namita Gokhale, we have, wow, Nuruddin Farah. Nuruddin Farah is a Somali writer. He writes about Somalia. Uh, he's a novelist and playwright. Nuruddin Farah has written books like From a Crooked Rib, Hiding in Plain Sight, Blood in the Sun Trilogy. What are the plays, sorry, what are the novels in Blood in the Sun Trilogy? Maps, Gifts and Secrets. There is also Past Imperfect Trilogy, etc. I think he has also written a third trilogy. If you have not read, read Nuruddin Farah, please do it. He's a very major writer, African writer from Somalia. 
Next writer here is Neil Mukherjee. Many of you might have read Neil Mukherjee. He is a, a, a writer living in Britain, but he's of Indian origin, Indian British writer living in London. He is famous because he was shortlisted for the Booker Prize a few years ago. It is the novel, The Lives of Others, that was short, shortlisted. His other works are Past Continuous, republished as A Life Apart and A State of Freedom. Neil Mukherjee. Remember, guys, we will be giving you a Telegram poll in our Bullet Says public group. Please join the group. Please be with us on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for GATE and 9.30 p.m. every day uh, from Monday to Thursday, sorry, Friday for NET and GATE. GATE especially on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We will be giving you Contemporary Literature Paul very soon. Neil Mukherjee is over. Next, we will write about, uh, talk about Rachel Kushner. Rachel Kushner is another major contemporary American writer. Would you mind uh, while you muse on Rachel Kushner, if I drink my coffee? Thank you guys. Rachel Kushner has written works that you might've heard of. Have you heard of Telex from Cuba? Maybe you have heard of the flamethrowers or the Mars Room. Guys, it is okay if you have not heard of any of these novels. If you have not heard of any of these novels before, very good because you have now heard it. You have heard about these novels now. They are by Rachel Kushner. Don't get stressed listening to all this. Many of these writers are new to you. That is why we are doing it because they are all major award winners and they will be important in net set and gate. <laughs> then there is Sarah Waters. Do you know guys what Sarah Waters is famous for? Sarah Waters, the Welsh novelist is famous for her novels on the Victorian period. She has presented both Victorianism as well as lesbianism. Sarah Waters is the author of Tipping the Velvet, Fingersmith, The Night Watch, and The Paying Guests. They're all very important novels by Sarah Waters. Guys, next is a writer who, got, who won Booker Prize. His name begins with S. Can you guess it? and tell me in the chat box. The man who won Booker Prize, his name begins with S, and as you know, it is Shahin Karunatilaga. He's a Sri Lankan writer. He won the Commonwealth Writers Prize for this famous book based on cricket. Chinaman, the legend of Pradeep Matthew. His The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida, won the Booker Prize. Shehan Karunatilaga has made us proud. He was born in the same year as Jumpa Lahri, 1975. How do I know? Because I was also born in the same year. <laughs> I am sad because they're all such great writers. I didn't write a single book. Uh, I mean, like novels or poetry. Anyway, guys. Svetlana Alexievich, who is Svetlana Alexievich? Why is she important? Because she won the Nobel Prize. She is from Belarusia. She is an investigative journalist, essayist, oral historian. Wow, she wrote not novels, but literary nonfiction. She wrote literary nonfiction and won the Nobel Prize in Literature. What are her major works? War's Unwomanly Face, The Last Witness, The Book of Unchildlike Stories, Enchanted by Death. Svetlana Alexievich. Next is a writer from Africa. 
it is Sitsi Dangaramga. Dangaramga is a writer from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was called Rhodesia once upon a time. She is a novelist, playwright, and filmmaker. Sitsi Dangaramga has written a lot of major works. Her first work was a play, She No Longer Weeps. That is her first play, first book. Her first novel, Nervous Conditions, became very famous because she won the Commonwealth Writers' Prize. Guys, they have already asked about this book, The Book of Naught. This mournable body, that is also a novel. Nervous Conditions, The Book of Naught, The Mournable Body. Did you like the session? I'm introducing you to a lot of major works and writers. Teju Cole. Teju Cole is a Nigerian American writer. In our upcoming American Encyclopedia, we have included him. Nigerian American. His major works are Every Day is for the Thief, Open City, Known and Strange Things, City of Pain. Guys, why do we need to know about these writers? Because they are prescribed in universities. They are very important writers. Teju Cole, Nigerian American. Guys, you will be getting a poll in our Valetsis Telegram group. Join us from uh, next week onwards. Zulfikar Ghos. Zulfikar Ghos wrote major works. Confessions of a Native Alien, The Violent West. He's a Pakistani-American writer, by the way. Crumbs Terms, Figures of Enchantment, Kensington Quartet. He, uses ma he used magic realism and he also wrote poetry and essays. Zulfikar Ghos is a very major name. Sujata Bhatt, haven't you heard of Sujata Bhatt? She's a very important poet and translator. She won the Commonwealth Poetry Prize. Her books are given here. Bruzinem, The One Who Goes Away, The Color of Solitude. Sujada Bhatt is important. Next is Gautra Bahadur. Guys, Gautra Bahadur. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wrote the wrong works. I, I wrote the wrong works here. Let me type and tell you. Coolie women. Coolie woman, sorry. Cookie, I said. Is 2013. Coolie woman. A house filled with women. A house filled with women. That is non-fiction 2020. And how could I write about women whose existence is barely acknowledged? How could I write about women whose existence is barely acknowledged that is also non-fiction 2022 recent work Gautra Bahadur is now very familiar to us because of the question in net that is also why we are doing this free weekend course isn't it because they have started to ask such questions Gautra Bahadur please remember guys also born in 1975. Next writer, Irwin Welsh, is a major Scottish novelist. We know him now because he's very popular. And also there was a question. Train spotting is famous. The Acid House, Marabu's Torque Nightmares, Filth, etc. Dead Man's Trousers, etc. Dead Men's Trousers, actually. Dead men's trousers. It's not man, but men. 
filth also. Next is Susan Lori Parks. Susan Lori Parks, uh, dear friends, is a very major uh, American writer. Susan Lori Parks is African American writer and playwright. She won Pulitzer Prize. There was a question about her in some set exam. The death of the last black man in the whole entire world. The America play in the blood. These are her important works. There are many other writers, 100 writers that we are, in, we are including in the easy handbook on contemporary literature. Please remember to get your copy when it is released in a month or two. Even otherwise, please do your work on these writers. It will amazingly help you in net, set, and gait. Guys, you should make your own notes thematically about what their most major works are about. You can also take a look at what are the important awards that they won. They might ask you one of these questions in the upcoming exams. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, I hope uh, you will join us in Valencia's public group for the quizzes. I will be back with the uh, model tests and video podcasts for the upcoming G set, WB set, and other exams. I'm always there to help you in whatever way you can, way you want. Um, many people have told me about their upcoming exams. We are working on them. Thank you very much, guys. Please like the video and join me in the next session as well. Bye-bye. Good night. Love you all.